As the city of Cincinnati debates how best to deal with its $60 million income shortfall for next year, hundreds of employees are wondering if they'll have a job. The vice mayor says the pain will be very significant, his words. And as Nine News reporter Scott Wegener found out, when it comes to people feeding their families, it's not just about politics. Percy Roberts has worked for the city of Cincinnati for 21 years. He and his wife are the breadwinners for three growing kids. 16, 13, and 10. Even as he helps repair one of the city's income generators, a parking kiosk, he knows dimes and quarters aren't enough to fix the city's money problems. The current budget cuts uh, the city's looking to implement, it is a concern. Concern may be an understatement, according to Vice Mayor Roxanne Qualls. We're all going to have to take hits, and it's going to be very rough. And no one should have any illusions about it. Qualls and other members of the Finance Committee are meeting with all of the city's departments to see how best to go about reducing the city's general fund budget of $388 million to match their expected revenue of only $329 million. We'll see some service reductions. We will see some elimination of programs. And uh, it is highly likely that we will also see some staff reductions. We set this. Robert says it's only a matter of time before his job is eliminated but he refuses to let it get him down. There's things I just had control over, but I just had to make the best of the situation. And as long as he can, he'll make sure the dimes and quarters keep coming in. Scott Wegener, 9 News. City leaders expect to have the painful numbers figured out by mid-November.